Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Todd back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new hyperdrive dark matter Sean Elliott gameplay. Sean Elliott, the reason we are doing him is because I absolutely was in love with the diamond Sean Elliott for a time when he was relevant. And now the fact that we got a dark matter Sean Elliott that can run the two, I am very, very excited about. Now, before we dive any deeper, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Massive shout out to PR the Hustler for making this game play possible. 6'8, 205 pounds, 98 three ball. Only an 85 driving deck, 86 bonus, but look at the defense. 85 block, 95 steel, 97 perimeter, 94 interior, 94 speed. So was that 97 lateral quickness, 55 Hall of Famers, including the Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Badge-wise, the dude's incredible. There's not much bad I can say about Sean Elliott. Outside of the fact that he does have the Hall of Fame steady, Hall of Fame blinder. So if you do play on next gen, that's a good thing. Obviously, on current gen, that's a little bit of a letdown. But if you look at the badge he doesn't have, I mean, you don't really have to apply anything. Brick wall, dream shake, pick and roller, deep hooks, back down, punisher, moving trick box. Let's see, passive finisher. There's no real badge that I see right there that Sean Elliott needs. Now, I just got done doing a gameplay with Chris Bosch, and I already know Sean Elliott's working with that exact same release. So we know this. Sean Elliott's going to, release-wise, be very solid. Now, again, I am using my next-gen console, so if I do the gameplay on current gen, just expect me to wipe most of my shots with Sean Elliott. It's not because his release is bad or too quick, because on if I was using my current gen console, everything would be green. It just comes down to the controller has a little bit of delay, and that's kind of a problem, especially using Sean Elliott. But he has the curry escape as well. I mean, if you look at it dribble six wise, the dude is just fantastic. Now, let's see what he's like in the full court type of setting. Obviously, behind the back, super solid tween is okay. And release wise, you guys know as well as I did that base 29 is one of my favorites like it is it's just one of my favorites in the game because i feel like it's easy to get open off of it and when i say that it's hard to contest whether you are a point guard or a big man it's hard to get a contest on it whether it's from the front whether it's from the side it's just like they go up at such a wide angle it's hard to explain but release wise very solid i will always say that i love base 29 i feel like chris bosh's base 29 might have been a little easier to time in green than sean elliott's at least in shoot around but that's not to say sean elliott's release is bad by any means i think if you use the card especially if you are on your current gen con bro i just can't move on this console it's just weird but if you are on your current gen console you shouldn't have much difficulty uh greening with the card i might try to plug in my other controller in for the gameplay wise so i can green more but at least in shoot around you can see release wise is fine showtime dunks sean elliott's gonna do his thing for me i might be more excited about sean elliott on next gen than current gen and that's saying a lot because I love his current gen release. And I think if I use my current gen controller, I'd be incredible with him. But I don't know. Sean Elliott on next gen just might be different, especially with the Hall of Fame blinders. 6'8 is a good height. Release wise is perfect. I'm thinking right now Sean Elliott might be a top shooting guard on next gen. I don't know for sure. But that's just what I'm thinking. You give him this release. You give him Hall of Fame blinders. It's a hard release to contest. I just, I have high, high hopes for this Sean Elliott card. Now, maybe I'm just being biased. Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm I'm affected by the base 29, but I don't know. Now, obviously, with the ball, he's not extremely fast, but defensively, that's going to make him all the better, which honestly, you need guys who can move pretty well on both ends of the court. So offensively, I still think he's going to be an absolute cheese ball. And especially shooting wise, I don't know attack in the rim how great Sean Elliott's gonna be. But defensively on next gen, I'm 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 eager to see what Sean Elliott's about. Obviously, current gen, we know Sean Elliott's gonna be good. The steady's gonna hurt him a little bit, but release wise gonna be good on both gens. I just think his ceiling on next gen is so high because of the Hall of Fame blinders. Like I get it, you can apply Hall of Fame blinders to cards, but a lot of people don't like to do that or waste the tokens. The fact that he has that, and there's not a lot of shooting guards really that have that. I mean, I'm high on Sean Elliott. I think the gameplay we're going to be doing today is going to be on next gen. I'm actually super excited to use Sean Elliott in my team unlimited, especially on next gen. Like I think on current gen, Sean Elliott would be fine, but I think he's going to be even better on next gen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sean, chill, chill. Ah, ah. Back to Ben. That's a great play. Back to Ben Simmons. You know what color that's going to be. Good start to the game. For Sean Elliott, yes, sir. Pick him up full court. 6'8", you're going to move pretty well. At 6'8", you're going to move pretty well. Getting me a steal on the first possession. Ah, chill. It's another dot to Chris Bosh. No way they're going to make me get a full right there for no reason. Pick him up, Sean. Pick him up, Sean. 
Yes, sir. Look at the defense. Chill. Look at the defense from Sean Elliott, though. Uh-oh. Set the feet. Green. Yes, sir. It might as well be green. It wasn't. Like, thank you. You don't deserve to. Can y'all just grab me a board, please? Oh, yeah, Sean. Oh, yeah, oh, Sean. Oh, oh, yeah, Sean. Great shot right there. Securing the board. Sean Elliott out in transition. Green in that shot as well. Good D, me. He just sat there with the white. That's tough. And I mean, if you run Sean Elliott, the big thing that you guys need to realize, he got another fool, is that he's probably not going to be your primary ball handler. Now, in this gameplay, I'll absolutely use him as that. But I'm just telling you guys that he's probably not going to be that for you. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm moving with him, but you guys probably won't have to. Like, I can hope with Sean Elliott, but he should probably be your secondary ball handler as he's getting me stops, right? He should maybe guard the opponent's best player. But as far as offensively, he shouldn't have to do that much. Good D, me. Board. Run. Chick man, Sean Elliott, another one. And it's just like the blinders effect. It's not that big of a deal, but you don't have to worry about getting a fake contest. Now, if you want to put you, if you want to put brick wall on Sean Elliott, do your thing, cause you can use him as a screener. I guess. I mean, I probably will never do that, but you can. Ah! That's so tough. It's just tough. I don't know what it is about this base twenty nine release, but I feel like on current gen, on very quick, it's not as easy to green, right? On next gen, it's just like it's one of the easier releases to time in the game. Chick, it's just too easy, right? With blinders. Anytime you get an open, like any sort of opening, you don't have to worry about anything. You can just let that thing fly. Oh, yeah, Sean, we're back into play. It's great defense. That's what I'm saying. 6'8", Sean Elliott, he can move well defensively. I like it. Chick. <laughs> I don't know what you guys want me to say. He is hoping right now. And I'll be the first to say it. I'm not even that good on next gen, right? I'll be the first to say it, but Sean Elliott's making me look good. I ain't even mean to shoot a moving. That's the only time I'm probably going to miss with the card is if I accidentally shoot a moving, right? That's it. Everything else is just green. Every single shot. Green, 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 green. Like a Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of green on that. I mean, I guess. Do what you got to do, my boy. You're going to get a break in this second quarter. I need to get you one last look. Ah, back to him. Chick man, chick man, Sean. Yes, sir. That's the last one we need from you in this quarter. I see you, big bro, Mello. MB greening it to end the quarter. We're up 22 points. Look, man, it's just your time. Sean Elliott was more than impressive on next gen. I'm going to hop into a current gen game with the same next gen controller, so don't expect a lot of greens. But we'll see how he plays. Where's Sean Elliott? Imagine me not getting you the rock. Chill. Come here. You got Danny Ferry out here. Ah. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sean straight to the cup. And that's the thing about Sean Elliott. Yes, he's going to be a very good 300, but he can attack the rim. Unlike his diamond card, really. His diamond card couldn't attack the rim well, that well, and he can play defense. That's the most impressive thing for me about Sean Elliott. It says his wingspan on 2K Database is only 6'11", but does it not look like he has a max wingspan? I'll let you guys be the judge. But to me, it looks like his wingspan hangs to his feet. good defense thank you that's good d you greening i feel like i was gonna green that one too like in a catch and shoot situation with all that time i have time to think about speeding the process up come here oh my goodness sean. perfect oh my goodness i told y'all i wasn't gonna green but look at sean elliott i see you my boy where you just dribbled that's off board thank you we're gone Chick. ah that's me that's me i wanted to walk back for a three though because i mean why take a two when sean elliott is hooping like this that's fine i wanted him to shoot that Chick. i got a full i'm telling you steady 
telling you the study is a, is, is a massive, it has an impact, man. You guys might not agree with me, but trust me, I'm telling y'all, steady matters, man. Run. All right, just give me a showtime, Sean. I'm happy with a show. Oh, I thought you were going to get blocked. I'm happy with the Showtime Slam right there. You now got TakeOver. Why am I getting triple team? <laughs> Are we okay? Give me a snatch though, Sean. Hey, that move for Sean Elliott is nearly impossible to defend. Like the snatch, how do you contest it? I mean, honestly. With his release being as far back as it is. Bro! I know you got steady. But can you green a shot? You green the first one. I guess. But make it make sense. Bro. It's another wide open. Can somebody make this make sense to me? Y'all tell me steady doesn't matter. Okay. Nah, okay. Steady doesn't matter. Got it. Maybe if I could green, but I'm on my next gen console right now. I'm not greening with you. Thank you. It's about time you green a shot. Thank you, Sean. Because you got a green to make it, obviously. Thank you. Green. That's got to be green, Ty. I don't know why I'm getting delayed peaks. I don't know what's going on, but that's got to be green. Snatch coming. I know. Trust me, I know. It's fine. Force into the rim. Thank you, Sean. Can you get another one up quick? I just can't. I cannot green on, on my next-gen system on current-gen with that release. With this controller, it's impossible. I know I said it's impossible to green, but I'm greening this last one. Finish him. I told y'all I'm greening the last one. Look at Sean Elliott knocking that one down. Overall, defensively, he's incredible. I'm steady. If it wasn't for Steady, man, I'd be high on him on current gen. Here's the bottom line for Sean Elliott. If you're on next gen, I don't want to say he's one of the best, but he's up there, man. He's up there. He's more than usable in any type of setting on next gen. Current gen, if you know that release, he's going to be incredible. The release is better on current gen for both him and Chris Bosh and I showcased just because I'm using my next gen console. On the next gen game... He green basically everything. In Unlimited, everything was lit up like a Christmas tree. Green, green, green. With the Hall of Fame blinders, the dude's incredible. Big fan of him on next gen on current gen. Not a card I'd look to get. I do want to give him a little price. Just a little update on where we are at with Sean Elliott. Because quite honestly, if you are on next gen, if you can get this card for this price, I'm telling y'all, man, do not sleep on Sean Elliott. On next gen, he is a pickup. It's just, it's the way it is. On next gen, you can't tell me that he's not worth the 30k price point on next gen. You just can't tell me that. So that is my final takeaway. On next gen, I'd go out and get a Sean Elliott. It's that simple. If you're balling on a budget, the dude is 20,000 MT. I know it's close to being endgame, but Sean Elliott is what he, he lives up to the hype, is what I want to say. The dude is probably the second best card that we did get today. Yes, Jimmy's okay. You can maybe make the case Josh Smith, Jalen Brown. But I'm excited for Sean Elliott. But that is going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.